What's up everyone and welcome back to this YouTube channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how you can run a C or C++ program in your Visual Studio Code on Windows. So this is what we will be attaining in this video. So I have a C file here and I've written some code. It just prints out hello world to the console. So if I click on this play icon here, you can see I get the output in my Visual Studio Code. How cool is that? So if you want to do that, watch this video till the end. I'll show you how you can do the same. To achieve what I just showed you, we need two things. The first one is the MingGW installation on our Windows machine. And we need our Visual Studio extension called Code Runner. So this is the extension that we need. We first need to install the MingGW. So let's begin by installing the MingGW. So I'm starting from fresh. I have removed the MingGW installation from my computer. And I also removed the cold runner extension from my Visual Studio Code because I'm going to show you how to install and download both. So first, let's start by MinGW. So in order to install the MinGW, what you can do is you can go to your browser. If it's Chrome, you can go to your browser and in the Google, you can search for MinGW and you will get this first result which says MinGW-Minimalist GNU for Windows download. And you need to make sure that the website is sourceforce.net. So if you see this result, click on it. And after that, what we'll do is we'll click on this download. And it says download will start shortly. So let's wait. And as you can see, the MingGW setup has been downloaded on my computer. So I'm going to click on it and it will prompt me to this window. So now I'll click on install and I'm going to select C drive to install my MinGW installation and I will click on continue and it will start uh, downloading everything. As you can see the download is complete and I will click on continue. Now I'll be taken to this window and here I'm going to select GCC and G++ and click on map for installation and I'm going to click on yeah uh, let's let's pick on this MinGW32 base as well mark for installation and I'm going to keep on this installation and pick on apply changes now again I will click on apply and it will start to download things for me I will fast forward again till it completes After it's done, you'll see this message are all changes were applied successfully. You may close this dialog. So let's click on close and close this thing as well. Now, one last thing that we need to do is we need to go to the C drive where we installed the MinGW. And in here, we need to go to bin and we need to copy this URL from here. Now go to search bar and search for nwriteron. and click on this edit the system environment variables click on environment variables keep on this park and we need to paste and click on new and paste the uh arc that you just copied click on ok click on ok and close this bang now in order to check if mingw was installed correctly let's open command prompt cmd search for cmd and click on this command prompt and in here we can say gcc dash dash version click enter you can see it gives us the version number of our gcc installation so it means that we have successfully installed mingw on our machine if you get any errors that means that you have done something wrong watch the video again and follow the steps very carefully now we have the MinGW installation and we have added the path in our environment variables. Now we can go to Visual Studio Code. In here, go to extensions and search for Code Runner. And this is the extension that we are looking for. Code Runner from Yudhan. Click on it. Install it. 
Before moving forward, I want to inform you that we have already uploaded a video about best VS Code extensions, Secret of Procoders, extensions which procoders and developers use. Must watch this video. It will prove helpful. Link is available in description. Let's move forward. And after it's installed, close this extension tab and let's give it a go. So we have this C program here. If I run it, you can see I get the output. If I see bring that subscribe, save the file, run it again. You can see the output says subscribe. So now that the C program is telling you to subscribe, you shouldn't ignore that message and you should subscribe to my channel and you like this video. So this is it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, peace out.